Welcome, my friends. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, friends of fine art prints. My name is Dieter, Dieter von Schura, and I'm the owner of a little family company. And we've sold Japanese prints, and not only Japanese prints, also other modern uh, prints, prints by contemporary artists, in weekly online auctions since uh, 2001, meaning we are already 20 years old. It's a small family company located in southern Germany, in southern Bavaria, near the Bavarian Alps. And uh, in today's video, I want to present uh, a new artist, nearly new, uh, because she had shortly contributed to our auction some 10 or 12 years ago. Her name is Emiko Aida. She's a fantastic painter and printmaker born in Japan, but she lives in London for many, many years. But before I talk about her biography, uh, let's begin and let me show the art prints or a few selected prints of what she sent to us uh, in direct cooperation with Artelino and which we will offer in our coming auctions. Well, the first uh, of these prints is in my background. The title is Autumn Tea Ceremony. And it shows um, in the lower part uh, the utensils of a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. And in the background, uh, a lovely um, red maple um, tree. Imiko Aida's art often deals with this um, contrast uh, between modern Western civilization in Japan after 1945 and uh, the old Japanese uh, traditional life. Here in this second design, you see this so distinctively. Well, this shows a street performer, a, a drummer, and she's standing on the edge of a high building and in the background you see a modern metropolis so typical for today's Japanese cities. And this uh, scheme, this design scheme, uh, you will can see it uh, rather frequently, especially in the early prints of Emiko Aida. The next one um, deals also with this controversy, uh, this, this contrast, uh, this dualism of old Japanese traditions and modern Western civilization, uh, which broke into Japan after 1945. Uh, this has a funny title, uh, The Tamed Kong. And yeah, it shows a, a kind of King Kong ape um, here with a typical uh, office uh, case and uh, a blue tie around uh, his neck. You can recognize um, on the video the face uh, of this guy, but he doesn't look very happy. And he looks like one of these typical Japanese office workers who arrive in every morning in a metropolis after a two hour commuter train, which is so typical for the, for the work life of today's uh, Japan. And this shows it in a rather drastic way. And it's funny and it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. This is one of my favorite ones, by the way. Also the next one. You see in the background um, uh, a window um, there, Walt Disney, and in the front a woman, traditional kimono, um, traditional Japanese uh, sandals, uh, she's apparently walking in a busy commercial street, we don't know, uh, holding a western parasol in her hand. Also here this uh, contrast in the life of today's Japan, especially in the cities, of course. So I want to show you two more. Well, this is rather quiet now. This is a lovely, nice composition. Um, it's dominating green and uh, this huge red parasol, uh, very balanced, very 
nice and you, you see i mean in contrast to these first designs yeah this is now so so quiet and so peaceful and uh well it's nature yeah it's 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 not this this hectic city life and a last one yeah this is um a rather recent design by Imiko Aida. There you see a fox. The title is Little Ball of Fur uh, and a Tree. Uh, a subject often shown in art prints created by printmakers after 1945, uh, which we usually call modern Japanese prints or contemporary Japanese prints. Uh, there are more. Um, that we will offer you in our coming auctions. Um, this is just a small selection. Uh, a few words about the biography of Emiko Aida. Uh, already mentioned, she was born in Japan and uh, between 1978 and 1882 she studied at the, she studied fine art at Tokyo University of Art and Design and she graduated with a BA, Bachelor uh, of Arts, and two more years, um, and she gradu graduated with a Master of Fine Arts from the Tokyo National University of Fine Art and Music. So, well, she also studied music. And afterwards, she worked as an art teacher at this university in Japan, but then went to London, where she lives now permanently, and there she began teaching at the Royal College of Art in the United Kingdom. Today, she's a member of Royal Society, Royal Society of painter slash printmaker. No, not slash painter hyphen printmakers. That's the official name of this organization of painters and printmakers in the UK. Emiko Aida, uh, she has exhibited all over the world, USA, UK, and Japan, and her prints are in the collections of the New York Public Library and the Guangdong Museum of Art in China and in other places. And now her prints are also shown in the Artelino online auctions. And I'm very honored and proud for that. The first time I will show her prints Will be tomorrow. Tomorrow is December twelfth, uh, and the auction uh, always our auctions always run over one week until December nineteenth. And uh, yeah, I would be pleased to see you there. And please do not just leave there some likes, but bid on her prints. Okay, got the message. Wonderful. Goodbye.